Watch you guys, welcome to this video. My name's Will with another useful tech tip here for you that you might find helpful if you're still running a Windows XP computer. Uh, for this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install the recovery console tool uh, from your Windows XP CD. Okay, now first of all, what is the recovery console and why bother installing it? Okay, do you really need it? Well, the short answer is the recovery console is a very useful tool that can help you repair serious problems with your PC. Okay, and a good example of what I mean by a serious problem is if your PC won't boot up. Okay, now if that happens, the recovery console is a tool that allows you to kind of go in the back door okay to help you fix the problem so even if you can't get into windows even if your computer will not come up okay even if you can't get to your desktop the recovery console tool allows you to boot into it and go in the back door and fix the problem okay so it's a very beneficial tool that you might find very useful uh, to have installed on your machine in case something goes wrong and obviously the time to install it is when your PC is healthy Okay, now if you've had a look at some of my other videos, uh, I've shown you on some of those how you can get into the recovery console and how you can use it to repair various Windows XP related boot up messages that you might run into. So have a quick look at some of my other videos on my channel, check them out and you'll be able to see the recovery console and how it works. Okay, so hopefully that will clear it up a little bit for you. Uh, now, by default, the tool is included on the Windows XP CD. Okay, so it's not installed on your machine by default. Now, unfortunately, if you go with the default, it means in order to get to it, you've always got to have your Windows XP disk to hand. Now, I can fully appreciate um, you've got better things to worry about in your life than where your Windows XP disk is. OK, uh, so um, in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how you can install the recovery console off the disk and onto your PC so that you don't have to rely on the Windows XP CD. OK, so if anything goes wrong, the tool is fully installed and it's ready to use in case you have any kind of problems with your machine. OK, and also it'll be very useful in case you ever misplace uh, your Windows XP disk in the future. And once it's been installed, whenever you boot up your PC, you'll be given an option to enter the recovery console. OK, and that will always be there. So it'll always be kind of sitting in the background waiting to be used in case anything ever happens. Hopefully you never will have to use it, but it'll always be there in case you do need to use it. OK, and I'm going to show you how to put that on. Um, so let's get started. Now, the very first thing that we need to do is find out the drive letter of your CD or your DVD drive. OK, so let's have a look at this machine. Uh, this is a Windows XP computer that I've got in front of us. And I'm going to come down to start and I'm going to go to where it says my computer. OK, click on that. And this shows you pretty much the drives that you've got on your machine. And I can see here that I've got my hard drive and I've got devices with removable storage. And this is what we're looking for. Now you're looking for your CD drive or your DVD drive. OK, and every drive that you have on your machine has a letter. OK, so you can see I've got my C drive over here and I've got the D drive over here. Now this is what's important, the CD or the DVD drive, depending on what it is that you're running. Um, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need this letter. OK, so in my case, that's D. OK, so once you know that, you can come out of this screen. And now the next thing that you need is a Windows XP CD. OK, that's got the recovery console installed on it so that we can kind of pull it off the disk and put it on the machine. Now I'm going to put that uh, Windows XP disk into my drive and close it up okay and I'm just gonna wait for that to spin up and detect the disk okay now as soon as it starts spinning up and the disk has been detected um, so I'm just gonna close this out okay and if you get this big splash screen this big blue splash screen then then just exit out of it you don't need that that's not important um, now once the disk is in the drive and it's spinning up and it's been detected the first thing you want to do is come back down to start and go to run. 
okay and you've got this little run box that'll pop up now what we're going to do is put in a command here to pull the recovery console off the disk okay and you need to start that command with the drive letter of your CD or your DVD drive now in my case that was D okay but yours could be a different letter so you put the letter of your drive in so it's going to be D colon backslash then it's going to be I386 backslash then it's going to be win nt 32.exe then leave a space do a forward slash and put cmd cons okay quite a long command but this is the command that you'll need to pull the recovery console off of the windows xp disk okay then we're going to click on ok wait for that to detect shouldn't take too long okay and you'll be presented with this little dialog box and basically it's saying you know you, you can install the recovery console as a startup option which is exactly what we're going to do uh, it's going to require around about seven megabytes of disk space and it's going to ask you do you want to install it and then we're going to say yes okay so you just click yes and it will automatically kick up a dynamic update now this is just related to um, Windows updates basically now it's not important for the recovery console and personally I don't bother installing any kind of dynamic updates through the recovery console installation process. So if you come to this screen and you're presented with this I would just say don't run. Okay. Next you're going to have this screen that says what do you want to do next. Okay. Just say skip this step and continue installing Windows and just click on next. And then it's actually going to start loading the recovery console tool off of the Windows XP disk and putting it onto your computer so that you can get into the recovery console without having to use the Windows XP CD which is going to be very beneficial um, so you don't have to have that disk if your PC ever has a problem with it. You can always go into the recovery console just by having it installed on your PC. All right. So if anything goes wrong you're going to be happy that you did it. So just wait for those files to copy across and then you'll be presented with this message saying that the recovery console has been successfully installed. Okay, so we're going to click on OK. And what we're going to do is take the disk out of the drive. Okay, we're now finished with it. Okay, so I'm just taking this out now. Okay, disk's out now. Now what we're going to do is reboot this machine round. Okay, and then what we're going to do is check to see that the recovery console has been installed okay so let's go and have a look so we're going to click on start turn off the computer and we're going to go to restart okay I'm going to let this boot round and what will happen when you boot up the machine when you first switch your PC on from this point onwards what's going to happen is you'll actually see the recovery console as a startup option Okay, it'll always be there um, for you to um, for you to boot into, and this is what I mean. You'll be given a couple of options. It says, "Please select the operating system that you want to start," and you'll have a choice of Windows XP or the Recovery Console, and you'll get this every time that your PC is booted up. Okay, so you can always enter the Recovery Console, which is what we're going to do now. So let's say that something's gone wrong with this PC. We're going to enter the Recovery Console. And it will start the recovery console and it's going to load the files that it needs to get into the recovery console this might take a while uh, so i'm just going to pause this at the moment then when we come back we'll get into the recovery console okay and as soon as all those files are loaded across it will say please wait and you just give that a moment and it will boot into the recovery console okay and after that's all loaded across you'll see the recovery console come up and if you've checked out my other videos this screen will look uh, very familiar to you on how to get into it and it says which windows installation would you like to log on to which is very standard for the recovery console when you very first get into it so I'm just going to say one for this particular installation okay and it'll ask you for your administrator password now I don't have a password on this machine so I'm just going to press enter but if you have a password, you'd put one in at this point. And that is it. You're in the recovery console. You can now 
use all the commands at the recovery console tool uh, to repair various problems that are related to boot up issues with Windows XP and other kind of serious issues. So that is how you install the recovery console on your Windows XP machine using the Windows XP disk. So now if anything goes wrong with your machine, you can go into the recovery console and you can fix it from there without needing the Windows XP disk, without having to rely on that disk. Okay, my name's Will. I uh, hope this uh, tech tip has been uh, useful to you. Let me know if you had any problems with it or if it didn't work out for you. And let me know if you've got any other issues up with your PC, any other kind of weird messages or errors. And I'll produce a video to help you fix it. Okay, bye for now.